Good evening, everyone, and how are you? I hope you are doing well. I am doing pretty good. I've been in my craft room working all day long, so that's been fun. So I'm just getting my comments up here. And we need to turn off the audio on that. All right. Hello, Tammy, how are you? It's good to see you. Twice in one week, yay. <sighs> so, um, yeah, it's been a busy day. Um, I've been working in my craft room, um, getting some things done for Rhonda, and then also for myself. And, um, and yeah, it's a gorgeous day. It's a little on the cool side, but nice. Um, there are some things that are coming up in the month of June that I found out with Stampin' Up! So, uh, let me go over a few of those things with you. Um, in June, there is going to be a starter kit promotion. We don't know anything more than that. We don't know what the promotion is, but, um, there is going to be one. So anyone that purchases the starter kit in June, there's going to be something big on it. Um, there's also going to be a DSP sale, uh, designer series paper on a lot of the new designer series papers. And then um, if you're a demonstrator, you will also be able to do the pre-order for the online exclusives. So if you're not already a demonstrator and you want to get a uh, head start on what those online exclusives are, you can purchase the starter kit, which there will be a special, and you'll uh, be able to pre-order those items. Um, also with the starter kit program, they said that you can use uh, the sale on the DSP as part of your starter kit and the online exclusives. So um, that that is a good thing to know. All right, so I am going to get started. I see there are people, more people on, but I don't see who they are. So when you hop on, could you please say hello and tell me where you're from? I'd love to chat with you. And um, also, if you like the video, if you like what I'm going to show you tonight, please share it and give me a thumbs up, some hearts. That would be great. That all, that helps us with uh, small businesses. Um, so it just helps us get um, more notice if you will all right i am going to point you to my work surface i'm going to show a card that i did on my class monday night um, it is a very fun card it's a fun fold um, i had all the pieces cut for the um, um class for monday night but this i'm starting from scratch so you'll see how i got the cart the cardstock um, cut in an angle, and if you were there at the card class, uh, this won't be a total waste, so so um, stay on and, and watch. So I'm going to point you to my work surface first, and there we go. It looks like it's kind of crooked to me. Um... I think it will be all right. I think it'll be all right. So I'm going to take my paper trimmer first. And I'm going to take a piece of cardstock. Um, and actually, I'm going to do two at the same time. Huh. It's going to be um, challenging, but we'll do it. So I'm going to take a piece of my Moody Mauve first. And I want to make sure that all my blades are out of the way. And I want to measure this at three inches. And I'm just going to make a dot, a mark where the three inches is, right in the track where the blade goes. So that's where I'm going to, and then I'm going to flip it and do it again on this side and mark the three inch. Okay, 
Then I want to line up those marks in the track of the paper trimmer. So I want to make sure it's there and down here, and then I'm going to cut it. And then I should have two pieces identical. Very good. So far, so good. And then I'm going to do the same thing with Misty Moonlight. I'm so glad Misty Moonlight came back. I love Misty Moonlight. So again, I'm just measuring at three inches on both sides and marked, uh, marking my paper. Then I'm gonna line up those marks in the track on my paper trimmer. And then cut. Okay. And then I want to score these um, starting with the large end to my right. Um, I want to score it at four and a quarter. And I need my arm out, so I'm going to make that out. Four and a quarter and eight is where I'm scoring up. And I'm going to do that for all four sheets. Four and a quarter. And eight. And now for the um, Moody Mauve, four and a quarter and eight. And four and a quarter and eight. So yes, I am making four cards at the same time. Is that kind of crazy? I very rarely ever make one card at a time. I, you know, when you cut a piece of cardstock, you have, you know, the base for two cards. So I just, I just do it. So, but I wanted to show you two different colors, so you get the idea. So we're gonna have the, again, the large side. On my right, I'm going to fold it over on my first score line and then fold it back on itself. So then it looks like that. Okay. Now you want to make sure you burnish those edges really well because this card likes to pop up. It's a fun fold, so it likes to not always stay um, closed. So by doing it both ways, you are breaking down the fibers of that paper and it will tend to lay a little bit flatter than normal. And again, fold it on itself and, and then back on itself. So has anyone um, got their garden in? Or any flowers, plants. Um, I had to bring in my hanging flower plant that my daughter got me for Mother's Day. And um, last night because there was a freeze warning. And I did not want to lose my flowers this early in the season. So I brought those in. I always would love to have a garden, but I do not have a green thumb. I I just don't. So I um so I don't usually plant one. But I love fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. Okay. And this this uh card sack is misty moonlight. It's not the boho blue that's the in color. It's the misty moonlight that they brought back as a returning color. And again, I'm just burnishing both sides to break down those fibers so that the card lays a little bit flatter. Okay. So now you need a piece of designer series paper, four by five and a quarter. 
and you need one that is three and a half by four and a quarter. And these should all be coordinating DSP. And then a small one that is two and three quarters by three and a half. And a light coordinating color, I, I'm using white because it goes with the DSP, is three and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm going to take my first, and you can use either side, it doesn't matter. That's the beauty of the DSP. You can pick whatever side you want. So um, I'm, I look, I line this up, you know, so you have a nice edge border all the way around it, but you can see this isn't angled. So you want to, a uh, little trick to cutting this is just slide it up a little bit and then flip it over and then just trim right along that cardstock. Use that cardstock as a guide. That's going to be scrap. And then it slides back down and it fits perfectly. And then you want to uh, glue it down to your card base. And I have a new stamp and seal and it doesn't want to run real good yet. so. I gotta help it along. Okay. And then on this side, we're taking that white piece that, or light colored coordinating, and again, sliding it up a little, flipping it over using that Misty Moonlight cardstock as a guide. And then again, gluing that down. And this is where you're going to write your sentiment or your note. Then on the inside here, we want to take one of those um, three and a half by four and a quarter size pieces. And again, line it up and slide it up a little bit. Flip it over. Use that Misty Moonlight cardstock as a guide. So by doing four cards also, um, it's going to really get you um, really good at making this card because repetition is a great teacher, I think. Okay, and then we want to take um, a, the small piece, the two and three quarters by three and a half, and put it on the front. And again, you line it up and then just slide it forward a little bit. And then tr use that Misty Moonlight cardstock as a guide. Trim that off. And put that on there. Oh, we did that backwards. There we go. And then we want a label. So I love the uh, stylish, stylish shapes um, because it has so many nice labels that you can use in there. And I am going to cut four because I need four because I'm having four cards. So then I'll take my plates. Again, my base plate number one, an acrylic plate number two, my white card stock. I just have scrap. It's a little label, so a scrap piece works well. And then just slide it through, crank it through. <laughs> you make this look so easy. Thank you, Missy. Hey, how are you doing? How's your foot? I hope you are doing well and getting around better. Um, my BOGO sale 
there's not enough for that one. My BOGO sale, um, if anyone's interested, is June 10th. Missy, I hope you can make it. Um, I have lots of stuff, more than I even realized I had. I just keep finding more and more. So um, I'm hoping that you all can make it out and uh, get some great savings. For those of you who don't know how the BOGO sale works, is I have retired product. You pick out whatever you want in the retired product, and then um, you place an order for that same amount um, at the same time, at, at the time of the sale. And um, so if you picked out $50 in retired product, you get to order $50 and you get to walk away with 100. So it truly is a buy one, get one free, dollar for dollar. And I'll have stamp sets and bundles and punches and ribbon and paper and, oh my goodness, uh, ink and blends and um, markers. Um, one thing that I have that I wasn't sure if I was going to part with it, but I decided I would. Um, I have the full set of markers. Um, is it 40 of them? Um, in the case and everything. And I just bought them about six months ago. Well, now they've come out with new ones with a new, um, the pen is actually longer and the, the tips are a little, a little bit different. So, um, uh, I decided that I would let that go. It's $123, $126. But then you get to pick that amount out for free. So it's an awesome deal. Okay. I am going to use... <laughs> um, I think I'm going to use, if I can read it upside down, I can't. Nope, that's thinking of you. Um, happy birthday. So I'm going to put that down there. And I think I'm doing um, a thank you as well on some of them. So we'll see what they do. All right. So I'm using my Misty Moonlight ink. And I use a stitch label, happy birthday, tap, 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 kiss, kiss, kiss. You don't have to push hard. And then stamp it straight down and straight up. And there you go for that one. Actually, let me do another one too uh, that says the thank you. Thank you. Straight up, straight down. There we go. Yay. And with the red rubber, um, I, I use the um, Stampin' Scrub and the Mist. So the Mist is here. It's an old bottle, but I just keep refilling it. And there's a mark here with raindrops in the edge. And then there's one here with um, an umbrella. So the umbrella would be the dry side and the raindrops would be the wet side. So you spray on the wet side and you just rub your stamp on there, rub it on the dry side and it's all clean. And what that spray does is it not only cleans it, but it conditions the rubber. So it makes it last a long, long time. Um, my original stamps, red rubber stamps that I got Oh, over 20 years ago um, are still in perfect condition. So um, makes me happy. Then I want to pop these up with dimensionals. And put 
put it right there. And then I'm going to, I'm going to try to tie a bow. Um, a lot of times bows are difficult, but this ribbon is called Knight of Navy, Knight of Navy um, bordered ribbon. And it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um, now I'm just going to fuss with it and get it to the size I want. Does anyone like making bows? Hello, Nancy. Hopefully Fran will drive me up to shop. Oh, that will be nice. And then um, we'll have to rewatch as missed the beginning. Oh, okay, so in the beginning, I just mentioned that um, Stampin' Up! is having a big June month. Lots of things happening. So, um, one of the things is, uh, if you're a demonstrator, you can purchase, um, uh, from the pre-order for the online exclusives and there's going to be a DSP sale, um, on 13 different designs. Oh, so cute. Um, how do you like that? I think it needs a little bit of bling bling. Um, oh, hello, Sue. Um, so these are the Milky Dots. Um, I'm not sure exactly of the name. I threw away the um, wrapper part of it, so I don't have the name of it anymore. I could look it up in the book though. So I'm just going to take some of these with my take my pick tool and I'm going to place them on here randomly and oh this take your pick tool is wonderful. Um, I think I'm gonna put it right there. There. Okay. All right. So the next one is the same way only different papers. So you can talk. Actually, I won't do the blue one. I'll do the Moody Moth. Okay. And then I'll save that one for later. Um, what else is happening? Um, there's also going to be a starter kit promotion. Um, we don't know what that is yet. But um, we will find out in the days to come. All right, so again, we're going to, oh, that looks not very pretty. You know, it just blends in a lot. So I'm going to line it up and then just scoot it forward. And then Follow the Moody Mauve cardstock, the angle, and then move it down. And this paper that I'm using, the blue was the Cottage Inn or Countryside Inn. And the mauve is the Fresh as a Daisy DSP, which I believe both of those are going to be included in the um, DSP sale in June. So again, we're going to line it up and then just slide it forward a little bit. Turn it over. Use that cardstock, the angle on the cardstock. And then glue that down. So Missy, um, Connie came to class 
and she did so good. She, she was so proud of herself. I was so happy for her. It was so nice. It made me, it made my heart jump. Um, I don't think this is the right measurement. <laughs> Three and a half by four and a quarter. Let's see what I did here. I did three and a half and I did four. So let me cut another piece of that. Three and a half. By four and a quarter. Our class went kind of late on Monday night, so um, that was kind of crazy, but we sure had a fun time. Okay, this looks better. How was the party, Sue? My niece, my sister's daughter, um, graduated from, oh, maybe the party hasn't happened yet. Maybe that was her graduation. Oh, she's got so many things going on. I can't remember the date, what the correct dates are for what. Anyway, she um, graduated with uh, her degree in radio technology. She's going to do x-rays and then she's also going to do CAT scans. Her new employer is going to pay and have her trained on that, which I am so excited for her. And she's also going to have a baby um, June 30th. So um, that is exciting. So she's doing all this. Ooh, I almost put it on the wrong side. Thank goodness I looked at that. There we go. And then I want uh, Moody Mauve Ink. Saturday's the party. Graduation was good. Party is Saturday. Gotcha. I bet graduation was good. I bet. I bet you cried. Just saying. Just because I know you. It was a long time coming, that's for sure. Okay, Moody Mauve. I'm just going to stamp the other one, too, while I got it out. Tap, tap, tap. Kiss, kiss, kiss. You don't have to press hard on your inks, remember. Then you don't have a mess, either. Okay, I'm going to close that up so I don't put my hand in it. Or put the card in it. Then I'm going to take my scrap, scr stamp and scrub. And again, I got my raindrops here, so I'm going to use my white side. And it's still wet from before, so it stays wet for a little while. And then that's cleaned. And then I'm using this one. And that's clean. Now you can use your chamois, your uh, purple chamois with water. Um, it's just that doesn't condition the red rubber. So... I don't know if it will eventually break down the rubber or not, but um, it's okay. All right. Then I'm going to do happy birthday. We're going to pop these up with dimensionals. <laughs> oh, Sue. It's okay. They were good tears, I know. And then I'm going to do this here and then I'm going to do this and this is the uh, textured ribbon in Moody Mauve, the in color, one of the in colors, new in colors. And I'm going to try to tie a bow with this. This one's a little thicker, the ribbon's a little thicker, so it's not as easy to tie a bow, but uh, it, it ties a bow nonetheless. Oh, you just got to play with it a little bit. All 
Okay. All right. And then I'm going to trim the edges. If you know me, you know I don't like long tails per se. Although the project I'm making for Rhonda does have long tails. And uh, it did turn out really, really cute. So that's good. I'm going to put a couple of mini glue dots on here. Just so it... Um, holds better. And now I've got to see what gems I have. I'm sure I have in color of something. Hold on with me. Ha ha. I do, I do. I've got Tons of them. Actually, let me use this one. I've got so many. And, you know, we only use one color for a certain card, so I run out of one color, so I have to open another, another um, package. So I'm going to use the... Oh, come on. It doesn't want to come up. I gotta get some more putty on there. Here we go. Hmm. There we go. We go and there's that one very pretty and here's the blue with the cottagen paper let me move some of the stuff off to the side and show you some other ones that I've done clean this mess up a little bit We did this one at our class Monday night, uh, Celebrate You Today. So the class was masculine. So this is like a blue jean um, ribbon and then all blues, water. And then this one too, I did today. Nice. And then this one tonight. Kind of a neat, fun fold, different. I don't know how I would cut this if I had to measure it on the paper trimmer. I like the idea of lining it up on the edge. Um, I learned that from um, Shannon West. She's our uh, uh, representative for Stampin' Up! for the Great Lakes region. And she is awesome. So let me point you back up to me. Hello. Um, yeah, so those were the cards. Um, camping was good, Sue. Um, we had good weather. Um, Monday night, well, I kind of left Randy a lot Monday. I had a dentist appointment, so I left him for two hours during the day, and then I left him for over five hours <laughs> for my card class Monday night. Um, love the cards. Great on cutting edge angle. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Um, so anyway, um, camping was good. It was a short trip, but that's what we do. Our first trip is just kind of five miles up the road. And we make sure that we have everything packed back into the camper um, that we took out during uh, for the winter. And uh, I think we're good to go. We um, The only thing we forgot was the... Um, surge protector for the electrical cord. So um, that is back in the camper now and we won't forget it again. 
Uh, the class was lots of fun. I'll be making it again with different colors now that I know how to cut the paper. Yes, Tammy, the, cutting that paper is key, isn't it? Um, but um, yeah, it, you can get so many different different looks to it just by changing the paper and the ribbon and the embellishment. Um, you can make it feminine. You can make it, um, you know, for kids. Um, that zoo paper, that zany zoo paper would be probably wonderful for it. Um, you can make it with the celebrating, mm, what was that name? Celebrating something with the balloons. That would be really cute with it. And then, of course, um, you've got floral, you've got nautical. You can, you can do it with so many things, any paper. And it will just change the look of it. And it's a nice card to stock up on. And, um, you know, just have different sentiments ready to go. And that you'll be good. All right. Um, again, June 10th is my BOGO sale. That is the next event that I have. And then um, June 14th, I have... The market at the moon again at um, Blue Moon Ice Cream in Ovid, so it's it's crazy how big that is. Um, they have people there with vegetables already and plants and all kinds of homemade things and crafts and towels and there's a guy there that has his uh, trailer with freezers in it. He sells beef uh, and fresh eggs and oh my goodness. It, you, there's kolaches there and, you know, of course, there's ice cream, <laughs> which everyone has to have ice cream. So um, if you're in the area or if you're taking a drive, it's a great time to come out. It's June 14th. It's from 5 to 8, and it's the second Wednesday of each month uh, now through August. So I hope that you come out. If you do come out and you, you see you know, you've heard about it from this video, you know, please stop and say hi and let me know that you watch me on, on Facebook. That would be great. So if you would share this, I would love it and give me some hearts. That would be awesome too. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, my daughter from Kentucky is coming home on Monday. I'm so excited. And um, we're finally going to celebrate her and her twin sister's birthday together. We separated, we celebrated them separately, but they both want to celebrate together. You know, I guess that's a twin thing. And um, so I've got to get busy and make a birthday cake. Um, it's an ice cream cake. So if you've never had an ice cream cake, um, I, I make them from scratch, not scratch, homemade. So I do a, I usually do a chocolate ice cream and white cake and then frost it with vanilla ice cream and then just write on it, happy birthday. And, but it takes a long time because after each step, you have to keep putting it back in the freezer so it doesn't keep melting. So um, it's delicious. And unfortunately, I can't make it and take it anywhere because it would be melted by the time I got it there. So anyway, my kids love them. I love them. My husband loves them. So we're going to have one this weekend and well, Monday and celebrate. Have a great weekend, you guys, and be safe out there. I love you guys. Bye-bye.